The iPhone 14 Plus is the forgotten iPhone this year since Apple released it a few weeks after the 14, 14 Pro, and 14 Pro Max. But this is a phone I've actually been pretty excited for and I can see a lot of people going for this phone. So in this video, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna compare it to some other iPhones and also discuss why it has already surprised me. So the unboxing experience is pretty straightforward. It's the same as every other iPhone 14. We have these peel tabs up top and you can see here I did get the iPhone 14 Plus in the blue colorway and 128 gigabytes. So the iPhone 14 Plus comes in the same colors as the regular 14, so blue, purple, midnight, starlight, and product red, and it starts at 929 for the 128 gigabyte, 1029 for 256, and 1229 for 512 gigabytes. So knock off $30 if you activate it with their carrier right away. Those are the prices if you do not activate with the carrier. All right, so let's take the top off for the first time. And here is the blue iPhone 14 plus really no surprise here. It's the exact same shade as the regular iPhone 14, which I showed you guys all of the colors of the 14 in a separate video. But here's what it looks like compared to the purple iPhone 14. And if you're curious, here's what it looks like compared to the Sierra Blue iPhone 13 Pro Max. So you can see much less of a gray undertone, much more of a pure blue color, I would say. And here's what it looks like compared to the Pacific Blue on the 12 Pro Max. So not near as dark as this dark kind of navy blue. But taking a look at what else is in the box here, pretty standard stuff. So we have our USB-C to lightning cable down here. And then we do have our little pamphlet right here that talks about that we no longer have a physical SIM card. So if you are in the US, you do have to use eSIM. So there's no physical slots on the 14 plus and then we do have our lone apple sticker back here as well all right so let's set this off to the side and peel off the front of the iphone 14 plus always satisfying let's go ahead and boot it up and if you're curious here's what this color looks like compared to the deep purple iphone 14 pro max and man just holding these two side by side you can definitely tell a difference in the weight so the 14 plus is much lighter than the 14 pro max i really did not expect it to be such a difference so it's about a 40 gram difference so 36 grams lighter the 14 plus is but i didn't expect to actually be able to feel it like when i first picked both phones up but you can feel it i mean it's much lighter it's not as light as the iphone 14 the regular 14 but it's pretty close it's much harder to discern the difference in weight between these two when you're holding them in the hand and the beautiful thing about this 14 plus is that we do have that 6.7 inch super retina xdr oled display now we do not get pro motion so you don't have the 120 hertz refresh rate so you do still have that 60 hertz refresh rate but it is the same size as the 14 pro max in terms of the overall screen size and you can see these two you know sitting right next to each other right here pretty hard to tell the difference aside from of course the notch up top so we do still have the notch whereas the pro models the 14 pro and pro max have the dynamic island so we're just going to scan it from my other phone right here so we could do a quick and easy setup i'm just basically going to mirror everything from this phone the regular 14 on to the 14 plus here so i don't have to go through and change all the settings manually that's always the best way to set up these phones in my opinion and then we get the prompt for face id i am going to set this up because i do plan on actually using this phone like as my main phone for a little while just to test out the battery life and everything so we're going to do our first scan right there and i'm probably not going to wear a mask with it we're just going to do not use with a mask and we're going to transfer all of our data over right here let's go ahead and tap on continue and here's our prompt for emergency sos so all iphone 14s including the 14 plus here does get the emergency sos feature with crash detection so you will have the emergency sos via satellite later this year as well so this does have the satellite technology built in and also if you do get in a car crash you know your emergency sos will trigger and it will alert emergency services and your emergency contacts which is a nice feature to have and then right away we do have a software update right here so you can see it shows 16.0.2 it's probably because that's what I'm on on the regular 14 plus or the regular iPhone 14 here so we're gonna have to download and install that update so keep that in mind if you're transferring from another device you'll probably have to update the software on the 14 plus here so everything just transferred over to the iphone 14 plus flawlessly from my regular iphone 14. now keep in mind with the 14 plus we do have the a15 bionic just like in the regular 14 and the iphone 13 series so all the iphone 13s also have the a15 bionic chip that's inside of the 14 
16 plus of course the pro and pro max get the a16 chip but a15 for the 14 plus here but we do have improved thermals inside and of course we do have a much bigger size here with a bigger battery so you are going to see both performance and of course battery life improvements with this phone and on the back here you can see we do have a dual camera setup on the 14 plus versus a triple camera setup on the 14 pro max so we are missing the telephoto lens on the plus here and you can also see that the lenses don't stick out as far so you will notice that if you set both of these down on a flat surface you will notice that the 14 pro max will wobble a lot more than the plus so it's lighter and it wobbles less that's nice so we do have our 0.5x and our 1x so we are missing that telephoto so we cannot do like a 2x or 3x digitally but you can go out to 0.5x for both photo and video which is nice we do also have the photonic engine for improved quality over the 13 series that's basically just a new version of smart hdr apple's just calling it the photonic engine now we do not have the 40 megapixel camera photos like we do on the pro series so that's unfortunate but we do have things like action mode so if you go into video right here you will see up top that we have this right there and that is action mode so you can shoot videos in action mode now and essentially what that is is basically just like enhanced stabilization so it's basically like you're running on a gimbal you're shooting video with a gimbal and it really only comes in handy when you're running or walking so my initial impressions of the 14 plus are pretty positive i mean i don't really have anything negative to say about the iphone 14 plus and i think this is going to be a pretty popular option later down the road so i didn't have a lot of hype up front you know not too many people in the apple store were picking up the iphone 14 plus there were not a ton of pre-orders or anything like that but this is going to be a phone if somebody walked into an apple store and told an employee you know hey look i'm looking to buy an iphone i want the big screen but i don't want to pay over a thousand dollars well before you know you had to pay over a thousand dollars to get the pro max version but now you can walk in there and you can get a big 6.7 inch display for under a thousand bucks of course if you do get the 128 gigabyte model but that is nice i mean a lot of people are going to be going after this especially this holiday season it's going to be interesting to see what happens but overall i'm pretty impressed i'm pretty surprised by how light this is especially if we're going to get you know the best battery life ever in an iphone we're still sitting there at 74 percent. i know it hasn't been too long but still i'm already starting to see that this battery life is impressive so i will be doing a battery test comparison between all three of these phones along with other previous iphones as well so definitely stay tuned for that i cannot wait to see what that battery life is like so i'm going to be ditching my iphone 14 pro and using the iphone 14 plus for a while here as my main device i'm going to test out that battery life i'm going to test out using 60 hertz again i'm going to test out that dual camera versus the tri camera the triple camera setup i'm just going to test out everything and use it in real world scenarios and let you guys know how it performs and if it's really that much better than you know like a regular 14 and if it's really that much worse than a 14 pro or pro max so stay tuned for that video but that is just the unboxing and my overall first impressions of the iphone 14 plus i hope you enjoyed this video if you did i would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe for a lot more iphone 14 and 14 plus coverage also let me know in a comment down below if you picked one up if you're planning to and just your overall thoughts on this phone i'm very curious to see what you guys have to say because i feel like it gets a lot of negative press for really no reason at all i think it's going to surprise a lot of people but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon Oh,